Hello and welcome to today's segment of Overclocking a Computer. Now, a good friend of mine has generously donated this beautiful computer right here. Now, it's getting along in years and she's finding that she's having trouble playing the latest games, like Tetris and Lemmings. So I brought it upon myself to take her computer and do something that we call overclocking. Now, let us begin. First, we gently, gently remove the side of the computer. Now, the first step to overclocking is adding the processing power. So we've got the CPU, we've got the gigahertz right here. So we're going to get that in there, for starters, we're going to gently put that in there. Now we've got the processor, we're going to need to add some megahertz to this computer. So we've got this right here, this is going to be our ticket. So we're going to gently put this inside of the computer. Alright, here we go. tight fit. Couple minor readjustments. There we go. So we've got it. Now we need to add some gigabytes to the equation. The perfect way to do that, we got the hard drive right here. So this is step two. That's step two. Now we need to get more megahertz. So we got the hard drive, we got some gigabytes right here. We don't need megabytes, we got gigabytes. So once again, very gently, we're going to put that in there, okay? So we're just going to nicely put it in there. And then we're going to take the overclocking tool, very handy, and put it in. Okay. So, everything's going well so far. Now, what we have here is we have the RAM. Now, you see, we're having this problem. We're adding so much power, but we're not dividing it properly in the RAM. We're just simply asking too much from the RAM. So, what we're going to do is add a divider. Now, the simple way to do that is thumb here, thumb there. Done. All right. doesn't always fit the same in all systems. Is that there's many different types of computers and we have to account for that. So you may need two strikes with the hammer, you may need three, depending on, you know, Pentium 3, Pentium 4. Now, we've done all this, but we forgot one thing. We need to add more power. To power all of the, all of the extra specifications that we've put onto this system. So we're just going to do that now. Ever so gently. We don't want to get shocked. Okay? Gentle. Ever so gentle. Overclocking tool. Oh! What we've just experienced is we've overclocked it too far. So we're going to clock it back. There we go. Done. We've clocked it back. We're going to put that back in there. Gently. Alright. There we go. Tight fit. That's probably about all the overclocking we can do. But man, we must be creating a lot of heat. So, now I'm sure you've all heard about water cooling. Now every overclocker knows how important that this is. So, now what we're going to do is I'm going to put this back together and then we're going to work on the overclocking. So, all right, I'm just going to get the side there. All right. Ever so gently put it back on. Easy. Tight fit. We've done a lot today. All right, here we go. Ready? Just a few more hits. 
and we will be in overclocking bliss. Okay. So. Okay, so we're back. All shiny and new. Pretty shiny anyway. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do the water cooling and get the most out of your system. You're going to be in Tetris Bliss in no time. Alright, so here we go. I thank you for joining us today. And that is how you overclock a computer. All you need is the overclocking tool, metal mallet, uh, $12 at home hardware, and a computer to overclock. Now, I think our friend has a lot of days of Tetris to look forward to. All right, thank you for joining us, and good day. Wait, is it recording now? <laughs> Okay. Now we're just going to gently put that aside. Away. <laughs> Tight fit. <laughs> now what do I do? Okay. No Tetris for her. We're done. We're done.